So I just came inside to get my camera and I realized through my camera I broke out so I should probably be going to the doctors but um, I'm not going into town until Thursday and today is a day that we are um, doing a lot of yard work. Mike just got back from Michigan. He was there for five days so me and my girlfriend and my daughter all stayed at the cabin while Mike was away. He ended up picking a ton of solar batteries up for a much better deal than what he would have paid here. And so today's his day one back at the cabin and we are going full force with yard cleanup. We have a structure to complete. He's, we um, don't have any outbuildings here so we needed something pretty quick to store things like wood because um, the cabin's pretty small. So, and of course our lawnmower broke down and the grass was overgrown. So we are using what we have and if you can't hear it in the background, Mike is whippersnipping. Um, and ever since he started whippersnipping, all the dragonflies have come out in abundance, which is amazing because they eat all the mosquitoes and I can definitely tell since they have been out, the mosquito population has dramatically decreased. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now just to see if you can see what I'm seeing. Hopefully the camera picks it up, but there's like so many dragonflies and it's actually kind of a pretty sight. So I'll turn you around and we'll see what we can catch with the camera. Other than a very cute dog laying in the sun. So this is the structure right here that we bought. It was on sale. Like we bought it for a couple hundred bucks, maybe like 250 or something. And it's just like a temporary garage kind of structure. So we still have to tarp it, but at least the poles are all put together. And we're gonna be finishing that today. And I just wanna see if I can get an angle where we could see, not the mess, but all the dragonflies. Mike's out front whippersnipping now, so let's go see if they're there. So, update for the garden. We have started putting things in. We picked up a couple cattle panels so we can make some hoop houses. And I do have some things growing, but unfortunately we couldn't finish this side of the fence on the other side. So, um, some things have gotten into my garden and eaten some of my plants. So we're gonna have to finish that ASAP so we don't lose anything else. You see all the dragonflies just flying around. A new toy that we picked up and we got it for half price so we're very excited by that it's gonna be very useful on the property and it was my first time ever driving an ATV so I'm so happy that we got it and I've learned kind of like a power trip it makes you feel good that you learned something Get up and you're a stranger Out of sight, out of mind No wanting to surrender
potions If you're far enough away And it's all just smoke and illusion Then you've still got a hold on me I really should have said Nighttime, or it's getting to nighttime. So the bugs are coming out during the day. The dragonflies just keep them at bay and keep it tolerable. So we're very happy. We got actually a lot accomplished today. We got um, this put up for the most part. We're just finishing doing the finishing touches. Um, Mike whipper snipped <laughs> the entire lawn that we walk in, anyways. Um, he also did some chainsaw work. Down. We do a little bit of that as we can because um, there's just so much work or so much trees and, and greenery that we have to clear, land that we have to clear, so we go at it whenever we can. Mike tends to cut down the trees and I'll take them away. Um, and he did most of this work, but I did help him. Um, it's been an eventful day. We had some people come up and they helped us with a little bit of this and then uh, entertaining the dogs um, and then they got to enjoy some of the ATV as well and the dogs are tuckered out. Um, they were so exhausted that they couldn't even run back. They had to walk back. So that's good. So we'll just leave this on now and we're going to get everything done hopefully. So what I need you to do is take the tarp, uh -huh. put it up and over top the railing. Okay, because I, you know, I'm five foot four, right? You're gonna use the ladder. Okay. To tuck it over, and then I'm gonna ratchet it down into place. Okay. Okay. All right. Here let's <laughs> let's see how this plays out. I'm gonna dip back here. One more step. Oh. Right, cool, yes. Oh my god. I'm coming. I have been his bug swatter all day, so he hasn't had to experience the bugs. I'm coming. I will take it for you. How's it looking? Good. It's done! And that is how you goof up fix it and put it back up. There you go.